We've just parked Calypso. She's been sailing us all over, and now she's in need of some repairs. We have a haul out scheduled, but in the meantime, we've been taking you on trips aboard our motorhome, aptly named Naughty Sailors. This baby doesn't disappoint, but today we'll start aboard Calypso. We are hauling the boat out tomorrow. It's time for us to haul this bad girl out. Don't F this up. John is here. He's our boat's previous owner and a great friend. Are we all set? I don't know. For the Annapolis Boat Show. The last time we saw John was way back at the Annapolis Boat Show. Oh, Reese Boo. Reese is just getting on a Calypso, buddy. So today, we're going to flash back to all the fun we had together. You missed it all. I heard. I was that. laying everybody the place. Oh. We'll grab some drinks, explore the docks, and check out the latest from Antares. <laughs> The audience. No, I'm, I'm introing. Okay. Let's try <laughs> okay, I gotta get back into Captain John now. They have changed propulsion on this boat uh, from the Volvos. Now they've gone to a Yanmar hybrid system. You're about to get a look at the very first Antares hybrid. Let's do it. How are you feeling about the haul out? Good. We were just talking about it. I'm like, don't F this up because it's the last time we went to this marina, I drove it straight aground. We can't do that. And what? You did fire. what? <laughs> no, there's only one ding. Got a little. Little Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I left some wood chips in there from two years ago and you found them. This is just all the crap in the bottom. Please Why don't, don't melt the boat. So I only ever dinged Calypso once and it's where we are going to haul out and the tide hustles. Did you mm. see the tide today, Brittany? Yo, yeah, I Brittany did. Said, Brittany oh said that uh, the goodness. tide was cooking. Hopefully tomorrow, slack tide haul out, no big deal. Yeah, well, it's a little before slack tide. Right. We're gonna pull the props off, we're gonna get the bottom painted. She needs love. John took me over there today to kind of check things out, and it looks pretty doable. A nice wide opening. We're gonna slide our Calypso right in there, but the tide is kicking over there, so we're gonna learn. We're gonna wait for uh, slack tide. Well, all I could get was 12:30. John, John's gonna be drinking the whole time. Seriously, slack tide's at two. I'm good Cheers. at this. Let's have some drinks, and then we will see you tomorrow morning. Bright and early. Cheers. 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 We don't see John as often as we'd like. The last time was way back at the Annapolis Boat Show. We never had the chance to share the video, so we thought we'd flash back and show all the fun we had. Let's head to Annapolis, Maryland. You're looking pretty spiffy. I like your new PJs. Yep, and they glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. Should we show them? Yes, let's show them, Reese. Well, they got, to you gotta in. come in there. What in the world? <laughs> Oh my goodness, the <laughs> camera's on fire. They're glowing so bright. That's amazing. I love you. I love you too. Are we all set? <sighs> I don't know. For the Annapolis Boat Show. Yeah, it's been awesome. We took the RV up here. Um, we got a spot on the base, $25 a night. Yeah. That's Compared crazy. To, you know, some of the hotels are 800 bucks a night, and uh, if you stay on the Naval Academy, it's 25 bucks if you have a spot. Beautiful, honey. Boom. Let me see the back. Very nice. So this is where we get picked up on base. The Uber can come right up, grab us, take us over. How much is the Uber I bid? Well, it all depends. Today it's like 25 bucks. You know, they fluctuate it, but. But it's a lot price, better yeah. than paying $800 a night for a room. Mm -hmm. Although I don't think everybody is. Um, a lot of the YouTube channels stayed at this gentleman named Jeff. He organized all the YouTube channel stuff. This is Jeff. He's a sailor himself. I am. I have a 36 Catalina. That's Ooh. here in Annapolis. There we go. He also has his house here. He had a lot of the channels staying at his house. He did a fabulous job of putting it all together. <laughs> Thank you. And he's going to do it next year. We are. We're going to roll it out again. And maybe we'll be here. I hope That'd so. That'd be epic. I hope We're going to so. check out the banner if that's okay. Of course. Okay. And you guys signed it, right? We did. Okay. We signed it. Okay. They all kind of stayed over there and then other ones stayed on other people's boats. So we all worked it out where we didn't have to pay anything, I think, yeah. for accommodations. Yeah, it's been amazing. A 10 minute Uber ride and we're headed up to Captain John's room. This time we have Reese along for the fun. Reese Boo! How you doing, man? What's up? Kicking it? Kicking it, my, 
luxury hotel accommodations. Man, look at this, this is fancy. <laughs> so what's your plan today? We are gonna go to the Antares, finish up the boat show, and then I'm off to Denver. Yeah, what, what time do you fly out? Um, I think a um, four o'clock flight or 4.45 flight, so I'm leaving oh. the hotel at noon. No, oh. I'm sorry, two. Two, okay. We've decided to hand John a camera as well. Good luck. Okay, gotcha. And I'll be filming you guys. Awesome. Awesome. And John, take one. I'm not good with selfie sticks. You got it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, hey. it moves real fast. There we go. I can do this. That's a nice phone. <laughs> hey, you know, I really, really like your new phone. Although I'm jonesing for the new. This is so strange using gimbal stabilizer. I'm like, what? It's yeah, like, come on here. So this is totally doable. You ready? I, I'm waiting on you guys. You got your key? Let's do it. I have a key. There's gonna be a lot of like, okay, I'm turning it on, and I actually turned it off. Yeah, just let it record. Okay. Look, okay, he's double fisting. I'm double fisting. I got two drinks. I'm like, oh, thank God, I just didn't spill it on me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is this is gonna be ready? Ready? Are you sure you want to go home today? Yeah, no kidding. So uh, it could be another be, good one. This is gonna be watch gyro stabilization. Double on out, man. The dock. Which one? One. One por favor. Okay. One. No, that's one R. One star. One yeah. star. Star one. It's nice having Reese with us today because the first two days, Friday, Saturday, he was with our friends, which is awesome. We got to be adults and drink and have fun. And yeah. We had a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun is an understatement. This was basically a constant party with friends, patrons, viewers, and other YouTubers. <laughs> Somehow I ended up getting fireman's carry by the Marine all night. <laughs> I didn't mind though. <laughs> when the kid has daycare, mom and dad cut loose. Maybe a little too loose. Sorry about crashing in your bed, John. And now Reese is with us. That's okay. We love having him along for the ride. Oh, can you feel the cold? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's nice and chilly out. Yeah, man. Oh, there we go. I'll just stop looking at Brittany's butt. <laughs> hey, let me open the door for you. Open the door for us. Yeah. It's this is what it's today. like to be a YouTube superstar. I'll tell you what, it was packed here this weekend. Like, you, this is pretty. This is pretty nice. This is very nice. Here we are walking through Pussers. It's my favorite place to be here. Pussers? I have no clue. But it's my favorite bar. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah. <laughs> We will be back there shortly. The bar top. Oh, it's gonna be great. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we will. Ah, straight off the dock. <laughs> Brittany and Lisi and Jeremiah's around here. He's behind me if you can see him. See him? There he is right there. How's it going, John? I'm still trying to figure out this gyro stabilization, <laughs> but I'm getting really, really great video, maybe because I can't get the vertical part right, that it's just mainly all Britney's butt. It's a big turnout, and I was talking to a lot of people that came to the power show, and they said it wasn't as busy as this, which is yeah. really cool. I think the YouTube channels have a lot to do with it. I really it. do. I think they've getting blown big. it up. Yeah. I do. I agree with that. Yeah, it'll probably be a ongoing thing, and I think that it's going to become something like, you know, more of a center stage of the show. Yeah, no, I agree. And the vendors are insane. The boats are insane. They have so many options. And of course, the Antares is here, so we have to go see it. We were so excited to check out Calypso's sister ship. This is the second Antares we've been on besides our girl, and we were hoping to see some upgrades that they've made. Time to check out someone else's Antares. I know. What do you think? I think it's beautiful. I noticed changes right off the beginning. Yeah. Right off the bat. You can see the some changes. It's really, really nice. They're doing a good job. We have absolutely nothing to do with the Antares factory. We just love our boat. We got the GT version the and the hybrid. Absolutely. World's best live aboard. Coming from a guy who lived aboard his, it's the truth. It is the world's best live aboard. Reese is just out getting on a Calypso, buddy. Is this familiar? Mm, it is. <laughs> I saw that table in the brochure, but this is just like our table flipping over. Yeah. So this is Dave. He's a former. Oh, er, he's an owner. He is an owner. He's I'm an sorry owner. about that. I'm on Ohana. We're out there. Yep. Right out here. Ohana. What year is your boat? 2018. 2018. He invited us out the other night to the 
just took a picture. Antari's owner party, but we had a YouTube. It was a heck of a bash. Yeah. You missed it all. I heard. I'm I was sorry. laying everybody. The place. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> you can go either way, right? So tell us, Dave, what do you do here? I'm just hanging out on a boat because they have all the owners out here telling everybody how great and wonderful Antares is, the build quality, etc. in our opinion. They figured, why put a sales guy on here? Just put the owners, they'll sell it themselves. There you go. So I can tell you, there's no buyer's remorse. This thing is solid, it's easy to fix, easy to work on, and it's like a home. It is. It is the world's best liveaboard. Absolutely love the boat. They should have put me on here. There you go. I would have been going all day long. That's really cool. So how long have you been on your boat? Two years. Two years. Prior to that, never owned a boat, never had a boat. Uh, learning school, hard knocks. That's why I was excited when I saw your channel. I was like, wait a That's minute. That's us. I can see how to fix stuff now. Well, we didn't know anything either. Where are you going next? Uh, baby steps. Uh, hit the keys and then go out from there. Um, this is not a boat you can float around the Caribbean, you gotta see the world. So we'll either, once we get used to things in the uh, Keys in the Caribbean, take our pick, uh, Med or Pacific. So we can't decide either. <laughs> We're like bouncing back and forth. Now if you went to the Mediterranean, would you do the Arc? Or? Yeah, uh, no matter Yeah, no matter what, we'd probably do an Arc going across. Just the comfort and having other people. And, but it would just be the leg to get to the med and then we jump out. I think they have different options. We kind of had the same idea if we we're gonna do that, we might go with the arc. So that's right. cool. Who knows? Maybe we'll be the same path. Yeah. Can you tell me any upgrades? So the biggest thing you're gonna notice is the bigger bimini. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and as part of that, they have the built-in water capture system. And on our series, they had tubes coming down you had to hook hoses to. That's all built in. You just turn a valve and you can collect your rainwater that way. So nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Another thing I noticed is how this goes into the pipe here. Yes. It like it goes, the, so the sheet, instead, ours go out to the outboard and go up. This actually gets fed into the pipe and up on top of the bimini to the sail, which is interesting. And yeah. these are a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. Like, they are they're more it beefy, is. right? Yes. Yeah. One thing I we always talk about that we thought would be great is if they could bring the table down and make this into a bed. There is models out there that people have done that. They're using the same type of table pieces that's inside to go up and down. They're doing it here. They've built in brackets around here so that everything sits down and this becomes one big day bed. And then you can have like your big screen. John actually got us a projector screen for our boat to set it up. Yep. So hang the silver screen and then he, movies from, well the yeah. chairs aren't there anymore. <laughs> the, the, the stadium seating is gone. <laughs> it's gone. So that's what I was looking to do something like that but since I have my stadium seating I now have a mount here for a widescreen TV. So we're power boaters apparently. We are not sailboaters. What? Who says that? What are you talking about? Everybody teases me you're the power boater with the widescreen TV, the surround sound, the no, booming no, no. speakers, we're and all, all the way. We just want to be comfortable. Yes. Yeah. When you, drop, when you drop your widescreen TV yeah. watching the football, I, I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys have changed the windshield. Where it was panes of glass, now it's a. Uh, much more open. And I Some do think they need like to them. make a standard as we even flat the clock and right. the barometer. That should be a closing gift, I'm just saying. Because yeah. once I saw your boat, I was like, okay, what are they going to just keep and freeze you know, framing? I want to figure out what these are on mine, and I have them. Mine oh, work. Cool. Yeah. Mine work, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got to send ours back. Yeah. Our son, that's the first thing he noticed. He's like, where's the clock? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. It should be there. Well, you want to check down uh, down below? Yes. Yeah, you're going to have some fun. This gets a little different. You want to see what's different in here. Let me tell you. He does. Good, John. Okay, okay. First thing I noticed was the countertops. I love them. I love ours, but the white just pops it off. Let's see. Same type of freezer. Our stove top and our oven give us major problems. So when I saw this, I was like, what are they using? Because we did ask, but they weren't sure. It's we beautiful. Had. Yeah, it's very nice. Well, I think with the new right ones, now. the new ones being electric, or uh, they're even ch changing these over to electric cooktops. Really, yeah. like induction? induction? Yeah, because of the, it's all hybrid, everything's electric. I absolutely love this version of the boat. Um, right now we have the bottom bunk. I'm sure you do as That's, well. We call, we call it the coffin because it's shaped just like a little baby It really coffin, is. So that's a coffin bed. Does it store all your beer and liquor and 
Uh, no, that's in underneath the seat up. Oh, that's in the back cabin. That's like each drawer is a red wine, white wine. Oh my gosh, that's not brilliant. It's, we don't have kids, so we can have all that luxury. I know. So, yeah, right now, there's are their own Legos. <laughs> but this is where all the guests come in. That's where they throw all their bags along the coffin bed. It's beautiful. And then they have the shower as you go more forward. This is really cool. I guess if you don't want to share your shower with your guests, privacy, whatever. Um, we've always done really well with just our one shower. Gives you something else to clean in my opinion. Yeah, our logic is this is a liveaboard and a charter, so anybody staying with these family, friends, or somebody close, so they probably just use the master shower. Um, there's also a shower on the deck. So my buddy, yes. my buddy Lori, she has a little tray with all the soaps and everything, and everybody half the time just showers and bathes out on the deck. So yes, yeah, less the clean. And then can you imagine showering up there underway? Because we call this the rock and roll suite. We're underway, we're like, do uh, not go up there. We bounce <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> so when you're on a passage, you're going to shower, you don't want to shower in there, in my opinion. All in all, we like Calypso more. The new features are nice, but we'll stick with our baby. What we're really interested in was the new hybrid design. So the biggest change in the Antares from Calypso and uh, all the older who, who designs... Who are you talking to? <laughs> the audience. No, yeah, you never... No, I'm, I'm introing. <laughs> okay. Sorry, all right. I thought you were starting asking questions. I got a nice no. introduction. Oh, all right, all right. oh my God! Okay, okay. okay Steven guys. Spielberg. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get. Uh, okay, I got to get back into Captain John now. Come on, Captain Ooh, John. Saw, here we go. And click. Here we go again. So, Mark. One of the biggest things that happened, the biggest improvement, I think, is they have changed propulsion on this boat uh, from the Volvos. Now they've gone to a Yanmar hybrid system That's with right. lithium batteries. Tell us about it because it's absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, and sure. It makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, sure. Here's the long and short of it. We decided after a lot of customers asked us, you know, where's the hybrid? Where's the hybrid? And I was like, no, 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 no. You certainly don't want to do that because of A, B, and C. And the reality is we realized that there not only was a huge market, but the technology had changed dramatically uh, in the last 10 years when the first hybrids came out. So what we've done is we've partnered with a company called Hybrid Marine based in the UK. And we have two standard Volvo 40 horsepower engines. And on those engines on the back are two 10 kilowatt electric motors. Um, and this, the key is it's parallel hybrid. But it is a really nice system here. So you can take the floorboard away, but you can take the whole thing away. You can take this one out, you can take this one out, and then you have one big space. So I took this one already out for you. So it's one easy accessible space. So what that means is you can power this boat on the two diesels like you normally would on any GT, GS, 44i, doesn't matter, like your boat. Um, or you can go through and say, I want to run one engine or one side of the boat on the motor, 10 kilowatts, and one diesel, both electric. Um, and that is great because it also provides um, with the 40 kilowatts of Victron and lithium batteries, uh, anywhere from 20 to 25 nautical mile range under purely electric. Although we are at the dock still, it's nice to show you the uh, hybrid part. Um, hybrid is only working when the Yanmars are not switched on. So that's a safety thing, you can't have them both. So I switched off Yanmars. And that's it. You, you probably hear the wash of the, uh, the prop. That's so easy. As soon as I switch on the Yanmar, it goes to regeneration uh, mode. Of course, we can uh, switch them off. So we've also increased, increased the, the uh, solar by 50%. So we now have 1.8 kilowatts standard on the boat versus 1.2 kilowatts. We have around or close to two kilowatts of solar power, but when it is not enough, we can with the hybrid uh, still charge our house bank. What we need to do then is uh, disengage the prop. So in here we have a handle. This is another one. This is just, by the way, is the shaft lock. I think I discussed it before, and that is a um, spare belt. If something is going wrong, then we can, within a couple of minutes, we can change the belt. Anyway, so with this one, we can take the prop off from the uh, shaft. And to put it back on, um, you, you need to turn it around. So they put a small switch here. And when I put it back, now we have again engaged propellers. 
quite frankly, to be blunt, I mean, it's it's been gangbusters for Memo and Team down in Argentina. Since Centauri's made the announcement of the hybrid, John, it's been just like, every single boat that we have sold, I say we being Antares, I'm an owner just like you guys are of your Antares, but um, have been 100% hybrid. Uh, we just sold a hybrid this morning, and we sold one the day before the boat show. Um, it's just nuts. So, and understandably, because it's, it's only a 7% increase in price. So 75K more, it's a no-brainer, because it, literally the cost of the equipment alone is about 55K. So, I mean, come on, it's easy. Yeah. And then the I other mean, brilliant part is, yeah. uh, as, uh, if you upsize your battery bank, because you can do that as part of the options, you can get rid of the generator, correct? Oh, that, oh, that's and, right. Yeah. And now you can, for for us sailors who die without our air conditioning in hot environments, all of a sudden you don't need the generator. You don't need a generator. Fully charged battery bank. You can run your AC. That's right. And uh, off the inverter, there's two Victron three kilowatt uh, inverters standard on the boat. So I took one uh, crate away, um, just to show you. These are the two hybrid marine uh, control boxes, and there is a, a Victron unit. Um, it's an auto transformer. Inside the battery locker, there we have most of our electronics. So again, this is a hybrid. And next to me is eight big uh, 24 volt batteries. And over there, there are two uh, 12 volt batteries. So it's a 24 volt bank, and this is a 48 volt bank. You do not have a gen set on the hybrid because you don't need it. Because you're also able to generate, and I forgot to mention this, John, six kilowatts per engine when you're running them so you're generating 12 kilowatts total or recharging your lithium you can recharge your lithium if you're running your engines in under three hours yeah yeah so, so a huge deal because it's like, like it's a yeah. big deal yeah and and the generator's a lot of weight uh, aside from a maintenance item and requires a lot of maintenance it's a ton of weight and i noticed with calypso she would sit about uh depending on how i was loaded an inch <laughs> on lower beer. on the starboard side yeah the right. beer would have to go over there, <laughs> right, right over there. and the boat right. would still be at a tilt and so now it's just like okay pull the generator replace big battery banks that's right and also when you're off the boat like your boat right now is in malaysia or singapore malaysia yeah. malaysia think, so yeah. yeah so if you had that okay the solar panels are out there it's a smart charger you're going to come right. back to a completely charged and ready to go boat that's right that's right. And so you mentioned a part that I haven't even thought about because both both in your boat and my boat, we have our gen set and also in Dave's boat. The gen set is starboard forward in the locker. It's a lot of weight, 400, 500 pounds, something like that. Yeah. So the weight has been transferred from the starboard forward bow to the center of the boat under the mast center line, which is better balanced to your point yes. on the boat. So I think we care about. So yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's going to start with a premium catamaran doing it before it gets mainstream. That's right. And this is going to be the one because everyone else is going serial. Uh, yeah, correct. Th that's correct. Not parallel. Not parallel. So, so most of the other boats that we've seen are serial hybrid. Uh, that's a very big difference. What that basically means is if you lose your diesel generator, you lose propulsion. At least here, you know, these boats are built to go anywhere in the world and to do it safely and comfortably. And if you lose an engine, lose an elect a diesel generator, and a lot of them come with just one diesel generator, you lose that diesel generator, you've got a 20 mile nautical range, and that's it, a motoring, when a, when a, a high is coming through, or a low is coming through. So the main information for my Victron uh, energy system can be seen on this uh, screen, but um, we can also see that on the, the plotter. So you can mirror the screen, or you can have a different screen as well. I can also provide uh, or see the screen on my mobile phone, but um, I'm using that at the moment or at the computer. And all the Bluetooth devices from Victron are shown uh, here. It goes back to the argument with sail drive versus uh, direct drive. It just, with sail drive, you can't do any of this. That's right, so that's a, that's a key point. So you cannot do this parallel hybrid system without a shaft drive. It will not work on sail drives. And that's another uh, piece that we didn't talk about, but that's a key part. Yeah, and for a really boat that's already day. rigged with shaft drive. That's already rigged, come standard, yeah. we wouldn't put a sail drive on this boat. Yeah. So. I wouldn't buy it if we did. Yeah. Nor would you, right Dave? Or do you care? When I was buying it, I didn't know enough about boats to know, <laughs> but I just knew that the shaft was good. Right, so right, 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 right. You just bought it. That sounds good, I'll do it. That's awesome. So, uh, and then just for example, okay, let's say you're doing a crossing, you hit an anchorage with a full battery bank from hydro regeneration. Yes. And sunny days. How long will the battery last? while you're just sort of hanging out, maybe run the air conditioner off and on watching, you know, listening to music, cooking, because it's going to be induction, right. induction stoves. Yep, everything and on the boat Everything will electric. be electric. Get no propane anywhere. completely. That's right. So um, you have a couple different ways to view that. But if you run your AC anywhere from, let's say, two to four hours a day, 
And when I say run the AC, I'm typically talking about in our master cabin, because when it gets hot, my wife gets a little, little bit cranky and wants to cool it down. You can you live... You know you're on film right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, no she won't watch this. She, 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 <laughs> all right. This is all about hybrids. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> no, no. So, so um, you will have, um, based on normal use of your induction cooking um, and two to three to four hours of AC, uh, up to three weeks of being able to live with the 1.8 kilowatts of solar, assuming you're in rainy season, which is the, the worst case scenario, of being able to live in your boat, never turn on your engines. Right. Completely off solar. With, with the 40 kilowatts of Victron lithium, that's the key. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, I wish I had it. I mean, I've got lithium on my boat, um, but I don't have that much, or that much solar. It's the future, man, so. Yeah, it's good. It's exciting. about it. So every now and then I think, I'm like, oh, you know, I owned an Antares and I miss my Antares and wait, they're going hybrid? Wait, hold on a second. Two and a half, three year wait, sorry. Two and a half, three, <laughs> but, you can't but we know you, John. The front we, of the we, line. We, we might be able to work you in. Somehow we want to work you in. Yeah, well, just, thank you for sure. Yeah, 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 we'll see. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's great. We're excited about it um, as, as owners. So everybody here at the boat show, as you know, we're all owners. Um, we're not sales guys, we're not, we're not brokers, and, and the people seem to like that. They really kind of gel to the message around why we believe this is the world's best live aboard. Yep, and everyone we met on the boat here is an owner. That's right. So everybody. field trip, Ohana, and... Uh, Koa. Koa. Yep. And then we had, uh, of course, Calypso, and then who knows who else. Yeah, and if you want to see some stuff, you have a blog? We, yeah, I do. If you just go to AntariusCatamarans.com, that's the best place to go for a lot of information more on the hybrid. You can contact me. I'm on there. Uh, we have more details on all that kind of good stuff. Thanks for having us aboard and for all the great info, guys. Hope to see you next time. That was awesome. The Antares is smoking hot like always. We got to learn a little bit about the hybrid and maybe he'll buy a hybrid. You never know. Down the road, maybe I'll take the jump again. I really am stoked about the hybrid technology. So It I, is super I, cool. We'll see. I think we can sell them on it, guys. Come on. I keep telling John, start an Instagram so everybody can How about interact a YouTube with you. channel? Oh, right. even better. Instagram like, and YouTube. Antari's I'll multitask. John. Antari's John. That way when he sells it in like 10 years, we can buy it. <laughs> there you go. I'll upgrade. I'm like, hey guys, I got a great deal for you. <laughs> Let's go. It's like, get rid, of, get rid of Calypso and move on to this one. Right. So John is leaving us. He's heading off to Denver. He has about 40 minutes left. What do you think we can do in that time? A drink? One drink. One more drink of Pussers and then I'll get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> I hope I get a kiss goodbye. <gasps> Bye, John. <laughs> Boom. Okay. It's going to be so long. Yeah. How are you going to survive without me? Adios. We first attended the Annapolis Boat Show six years ago. It sure has changed, mainly in size. One big change was the addition of the YouTube booth. One of the biggest additions to this year's Annapolis Sailboat Show was the YouTube booth. You could meet Delos, Taylor's Travel, Sailing Doodles, all these amazing channels. You can probably see a couple in the background right now. It's kind of died down a little bit because it's Monday, but we've come back here and it's just been packed. So super cool, they let you sell your swag there. They had a banner that you could sign. Thanks for all the great work, Jeff. We opted to just mingle around the show instead of stand in a booth this year, but it was fun to see how many channels there are now. How's that ice cream? Good. Is it good? Uh-huh. Well earned. One more cocktail and it was time to see our friend off. John is one of those people that you want in your life forever and ever. Fair winds, John. Thanks, I'll let you guys know when I'm out. Yes, we'll see you. Come on, Reese, hug. hug it out, man, hug it out. <laughs> okay, brother. Have a safe trip. Definitely, we will, and I'll uh, I'll call you guys from the airport, and then check him from Denver. It yeah, sounds good. Okay. See you, brother. Yeah. Next time, we're back to present day. Tell me about that egg machine, John. I have an egg McMuffin maker, so and it's silly, and I love the thing. And it's time to haul Calypso out. We'll find that current, crash the boat, holler out, and then get to work. Day or two ago. I'm like, why would we need a prop puller? That's just stupid crazy talk, man. You know, we're sailors, not power boaters. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.